you. Welcome to Namaste Therapy Services. Uh, I just wanted to say that today is uh, National Sons Day. So congratulations, young man. Yeah, thank, right. thank you. Okay. So our last session, we basically discussed uh, the informed consent. You guys understood that with the tip of compliance and all of that. Yes. We also discussed termination, the, the processes and rules for termination. Mm -hmm. We discussed emergency contacts in case of times of things, when things happen. You also understand that what's said in here stays in here. On the, the only conditions to that is if there's abuse to a minor or a senior citizen. So we discussed that all with the confidentiality aspect. Uh, so today, I just kind of wanted to find out what brings y'all in today. What is it that y'all are kind of working on or wanting to work on? What do you think, Mom? Can you talk? Um, I'm having trouble getting him to um, pitch in with doing um, his chores, his responsibilities at home. Okay. What's your take on that? Yeah, I, I am pretty messy with my rooms, and I, I don't get them clean. Yeah. I can understand your struggles, my friend, all too well. All too well. So, looks to me like uh, we've got a struggle of trying to keep the room clean, huh? Yes, that kind of stresses Mom out a little bit. Yeah? Okay. All right, so, uh, the next thing I want to do is we're going to come up with a goal. Can you kind of come up with a goal on this one? How we can possibly achieve this? Mm -hmm. Well, I would like for him to make a goal uh, to start to clean his room once a week. Once a week? Mm-hmm. Let's start. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm okay. You know? I'm all right with that. That seems pretty realistic. Yes. Okay. So I want to ask you this. Okay. So let's say that y'all woke up tomorrow mm -hmm. and things were, it was a perfect day. Things are going good, Mom, and it was going the way you wanted it to go. And Caleb, we're going to go ahead and start with Mom. If you woke up tomorrow and this situation was rectified and things were going well, what would you expect to see, Mom? Um, well, I would like for him to regularly keep his room tidy and uh, proactively do so without me having to ask him to put away his dirty dishes, keep the clothes, the dirty clothes off the floor, and put his clean clothes away after I've washed them. Okay. Okay. So how about you, Caleb? If you woke up tomorrow and things were going really well regarding this situation, what do you think how it would look? How, how would you want mom to be to help I, I, motivate you? I think to help motivate me, like, you know, like, you know, kind of like, all right, Caleb, it's time to clean your room, you know, and if it, like, happened tomorrow, you know, that would be awesome, but, you know, you know, it's probably not going to happen. That's just a scenario. So. Scenario. So you want Mom to tell you to do it? Is that right? I guess so. Like, give me, yeah. Kind of give you a, an, an opportunity? In How about advance. you, Mom? Is that, is that what you're wanting, or are you wanting them to kind of take more initiative. I'd like for him to take more initiative because usually when I ask you to do it, uh, I, I get a lot of back talk and I get told no a lot. And so I believe that you're old enough to um, maintain your room and to understand that this is your responsibility as part of the household. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. So let me ask you this, Kayla. On a scale of zero to 10, zero being you're not motivated at all by cleaning your room, and 10, you're like, I can't wait to clean my room. What would you rate your number at? Um, I would rate my number at probably four. A four? Okay, a four. Four out of 10, okay. So, you know what I'm asking, how come it's not a zero? You know, because like I can, you know, play my game and do other stuff, and once I get that done, you know, it's done. But like, it's not the highest though, so. But that's why it's not a zero. Okay, okay. So there's a little bit of an incentive by you getting your room clean, huh? Yes. What's your thoughts on that, Mom? I mean, 
Oh yeah, I, I feel like he gets plenty of game game time already. Okay. So he has an opportunity to have plenty of time to game. Okay. And in exchange, I'd like to see him uh, show a little bit more responsibility. Okay. So let me ask you this: Is there a possibility, like, uh, kind of like a? Something that would motivate you a little more, Kayla, do you think? That would make you want to clean your room a little more? Is there something that mom could do or something that could happen that you're like, man, I'm definitely going to clean my room now? Probably having a little bit of a later bedtime. A little bit of a later bedtime? Wow. Like, how late? How much later? Probably, I'm going to say, so it's, 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 it's eight right now, so maybe like, maybe like, 8.30. What do you think of that, Mom? Uh, I think we have rules in our household. And we cannot uh, extend bedtimes. Just so you have an opportunity to do your chores. So that's just part of everything. You have to uh, figure out how to schedule your day so that you fit in your game time and your responsibilities. Okay. Okay. So you think that there's something else that maybe you guys can work towards together or something that will motivate you a little more? Or? Well, I mean, I'm trying, but, yeah. you know, maybe she has to think of something. So. What do you think, Mom? Uh, well, I understand that there are um, limited opportunities for you to, to earn money. And so uh, your father and I discussed being willing to offer you an allowance at home but that will require more chores on a regular basis. And so we'd like to get to the point where we can offer you uh, jobs around the house for you to do. Mm -hmm. But we also have to know that we're not gonna have to chase you down and do your jobs. Yeah. Yeah, so you gotta be show some responsibility and do that. And then you can earn a certain amount of money every month as an allowance to use how you want it. So in exchange for that. Does that sound fair? That sounds fair. Sounds fair. Okay. So let me ask you this, Kayla. I want you to identify some uh, some strengths. Is there any strengths that you think you have that will make you want to to take the initiative to clean your room? Like, what are some positive things that you know about yourself that you know you can do this? Well, I know I can clean my room up, and then you know, once I'm done, I can relax, and you know. You know it's all done, so you know, just wait until you have to do it next. Okay, alright. What about you, Mom? What are some strengths or some things that are positive that you think you can do to help motivate him in doing this and accomplishing this goal? Um, I think I can maybe set up, it helps set up a schedule for him okay. so that he can self-manage your duties, you know, whenever we get those aligned, how many chores you're going to be responsible for, how frequently, and how much money you would earn on a monthly basis for them. So I think I could help uh, set that schedule and get you set up so that you can be independent with them. Okay. All right. Well, it sounds to me like we've got a pretty good goal. So we're going to meet back up uh, next Thursday. We'll meet up at the same time. Uh, our time is up right now, but I just wanted to tell you thank you for coming down. And I'm sorry for all the noise, but Namaste's guard dog here is chewing on an antler. So, but, uh, you know, he's our service dog slash guard dog. Uh, but on your way out, if you could go see our receptionist, Nala, and visit Nala, and she'll take your coat paint, okay? Thank you. Okay. All right. Y'all have a wonderful day. You too. Take care, young man. Me too. <laughs>